So I love this question. Someone asked, what are the 11 specialties in radiologic technology and how can you do them? So that's an answer that goes two ways. So in order to in order to become specialized after going to school for radiologic technology professions, what you want to do is my suggestion is go to school first to become a radiologic technologist. I'm thinking long term here. Now, do what works best for you. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just telling you long term. What I feel in my 21 years has been the best decision for majority of people who look back. Go to school for radiologic technology first, get those two years or four years out of the way. And then you can either take on the job training to any of the things such as nuclear medicine, radiation therapy, PET CT, interventional, did I miss a mammography, ultrasound, uh, MRI, CT, if I didn't already say it, a bone DEXA, um, I'm probably missing something else. We have that's how many modalities we have in radiology, but yeah. So those are the ones that I would say is the top specialties, if not all of them, for radiologic technology. And some of them you can go directly into without going to school to be a radiologic technologist, but it limits you in certain ways. You actually may only be able to practice in that state that you went to school in. It depends on what school you went to. You may only be able to work at certain facilities. Some hospitals may not accept whatever schooling you took or whatever registry you get. You have two options, the ARMRIT and the ARRT. ARRT has been around longer uh, and it is more widely accepted. ARMRIT is accepted in many places as well, but not all places accept it. And I tell people, think of it this way. Yes, there's a shortage now. But there hasn't always been a shortage of MRI technologists. So when I encourage you to think long term, I have seen technologists out of jobs because they only knew how to do one thing. I believe you should be multimodality. Uh, I know how to do four of them plus other things within the field. And I encourage you to definitely learn as much as you can and become certified in those specialties. Don't just know how to do them. Get your paper that says you are certified to do it. That's what I encourage. I mean, do whatever works for you. Do whatever, you know, fits your situation. But I do know technologists, many that no longer can work in the field because they only had one specialty under their belt. And by the time they needed to go back for another one, yeah, they have been doing CT for a long time or ultrasound for a long time or MR for a long time, but they never took the registry. They never got certified in it. And when it was forced upon them that you had to be certified, they could not pass the test. And they were just were like, you know, forget it. Now they're either back in x or they just went on and retired out or changed fields altogether. Don't let that be you. I, I just, I preach that all the time. Don't let that be you. Anything can happen in life to any of us. Why? This is just my opinion. Put yourself in a situation to where when you have an opportunity to do over 11 specialties by completing a two-year program at a minimum. Two years goes by really fast. And the other option is, yeah, you can pay higher tuition and go to an institution that allows you to bypass x-ray, but it only allows you to do that one thing. And because many people don't have the circumstances, some don't have the circumstances to be able to wait on a waiting list or to go to school for those two years and have to get their prereqs and things like that. So I understand. I didn't go to radiology school straight out of high school. At the time I went, I don't remember there being a wait list, but it was competitive. And I got into one of the top schools in the U.S. Thank goodness. I mean, when I tell you the opportunities that I've had because of being an alumni of that school, I mean, I... I would tell you, that's a whole nother video I think I would do. And I would love to hear you guys comment. I did a story to ask, do you think that it is important what school you go to? I understand why people send their kids to certain schools now. Didn't understand it before, but I understand it now. It's not always about the education is better. The networking is better. I think of HBCUs. All my friends that went to HBCUs. I have a friend that went to law school in a really big Ivy League school. 
His dad went there. His granddad went there. They live in a really, really nice part of California. Filthy rich. And he they had jobs lined up for him before he finished law school. Networking. Connections. And it is real in every, every, every profession. Not just lawyers and doctors. It is very real. So get your education. Get your certifications. And be multi-modality. I will leave that there. Hope that helps.